everyone, it's Frank Walters here and welcome to the Secrets of Provence. What a beautiful area Provence is and in the countryside they have this wonderful phenomena, these wonderful lavender fields and uh, what a sight for the eyes. Uh, we have a photograph here and we're painting in the style of en plein air, that's painting outside, um, getting a nice cool sky going, putting in some puffy uh, clouds dropping in some earth colors into the clouds making sure it's dry before we continue um, with the composition you notice I haven't done any drawing whatsoever I'm drawing with a brush really it's good to draw with a brush rather than do a pencil drawing because then you end up just coloring in and that prevents you from the freedom and the slick and quick nature of watercolor it's you're too busy filling in rather than just letting the brush capture the shapes so we're continuing to do those shapes working out where things are I'm now looking at the at the lavender and I'm mixing a couple of colors to get this uh, it's French ultramarine and alizarin crimson and I'm getting very close uh, to the color of that lavender I'm now doing the shapes of the, the field the rows of lavender that's important just leaving a bit of white I leave the white so that I can throw in some of the green which is quite important um, again, I'm not following it exactly. I'm doing an interpretation. I'm an expressive watercolorist, so I'm looking to get a feeling rather than an accuracy of the uh, of the event. Um, dropping in some distant trees there, uh, really quite important. And again, on the other side, so we have a horizon point. Um, also, a little bit. Keep keep checking the reference. Keep checking the. Uh, the scene and dropping in, getting some distance going there, which is important. Uh, putting in a, a little bit of um, a bit of work with some of the foliage lifting out. Remember, it's not a one-way street. It's not just putting pigment on paper. You can lift it off as well if you don't like things. You can push pigment around. Um, okay, getting some nice blue now. Putting in some blue, and that's the mountains in the distance. That's basically done in just one one sweep of the brush and it's and voila that little bit is done and it works so well now the the final stage the dark accents right at the end so mixing a stronger version of that uh, that lavender color and dropping in deep shadows again cutting around some of the green um, making sure that I've got those values working of lights and darks retaining the light from the original watercolor which works really well so hope you enjoy that. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and maybe come and join me in Provence.